right, first thing I want to react to, which is related to the topic that we were talking about, Pal World. I really love the game. And I found a video that you guys recommended on my Discord, Pal World, funny moments and best highlights. So let's go. Cute shiny. Look at you. Look at you. Now you got to work for me. Come on, get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. I think, I do you think it's loud? What in the hell is that? <laughs> I honestly think I may have found my spirit animal in Depresso. Yeah, that should make some happy campers. Depresso. <laughs> Depresso is so depressed for real. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? Oh, 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 oh. Is he dying? Yeah. Yeah, me too, Depresso. Oh, me no! Me too. <laughs> Ah, the dark side it's of Pal World. Once the sun goes down, Cognito will go out and eat the remains of any dead humans. You won't find that what? in a Pokemon game. I didn't see that ever. I just ate it. Bro, I didn't know they do that. Oh my god. You can catch any tower boss in Pal World, including yeah. Zoe and Grizzbolt, using this new trick. Oh, First this death. is, this is, this is, uh, this is abuse. Don't do that. Attack any guard and give yourself a wanted status. Now, head to the boss arena. Important, once inside, do it's not a glitch. attack don't the do boss. That. Guards will spawn in the arena as you're wanted. You need to get the guards to shoot the boss. To do that, position yourself so the boss is between you and the guards. Once hit by the guards, the boss will aggro the guards. This is when you throw your pal sphere. Okay. Aim for the back and it's pretty much a guarantee that you'll capture the boss. Next, hit respawn and get out of the arena. Wait. You'll see that you now have the boss in your pal box. Wait, he didn't even lower the boss. He just captured the boss. Once captured, you can assign it to your team and even give them pets. Or you can keep oh, them in your base. So cute. They don't have a dex entry, but they do keep all of their stats, including their oh huge my God, spoilers. amounts of HP. I didn't want to see some of that these That makes pals. some of these bosses extremely OP to have in your team. If you're looking for a quick way to revive your pals, screw the pal box. This Mao is looking a little worse for wear. But if you kick his little lifeless corpse towards a pal bed, watch what happens. What's gonna happen? He's alive! It's a miracle, and no annoying wait time. Oh my god! There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a bully of tea If I'm the nasty, I'm legging it straight <laughs> out of the song. house to buy a lottery ticket. Dude, I caught one. Look at all his uh, pals are dead. Uh, did you see the chicken? They're rolling. You, you, you're foolish. I swear to God, if that. Oh my, oh God. my God, he caught him. Had 0.15%. Oh my God, he got him. So there's it. a new movement tech in Power World. You can convert the momentum from your grapple with into your glider, ball. so you can travel I think I did insanely with the ball far too. very quickly. To do this, just grapple, switch weapons, then glide. Oh, that's so cool! You, you glide can use with this that to Pokemon. Skip all sections of the map that you don't want to get involved with. I mean, pal, sorry. Um. That's cool. Ah, relatable. You encounter your first shiny, and it's only a Chicopee, so I can't that's imagine That's exactly it's too the powerful. first shiny that I got. Oh, it was powerful. And I hate that it says level three. Stairs are way too big and way too finicky. That's why Happy Rama has developed these custom <laughs> staircases. As you can see, they take up a fraction of the space that stairs oh, do, so and they nice. work ten times better. You can oh even spiral them. Oh my god! They need them. to do that in more video games. The trick is to use wooden benches, and you unlock them super early on. Oh, you make benches! Stack the next one on top and hanging slightly off the Aww. edge in the direction you want to climb. Wait, is that Sims music? I don't even remember. It takes a little bit more time than a standard staircase, yeah. but it's so much better, which makes it worth it. Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot. 
Can't be bothered by that. A nah, big toys can be I just make a bigger house. In a raid. Who's your money on? An army of angry incinerators? Dude, look how fast this turtle is spinning. My turtle is depressed, hungry, starving, basically. It spins so slow. A <laughs> one giant spinny boy. I need to buy that spinning thing. I need to make it. Dick toys, yeah. <clears throat> Dick toys. <laughs> Yeah. I need to. There is like this hat or Dick Toy's hat or something. The headband, yeah. That makes it spin faster. But the real the bad of owner. Dick Toy's lies in its mind. Not in real life. Just in video games. Because I can't be bothered. Like anything in Power World, we can exploit that. This AFK auto or an ingot farm is one of the best additional bases you can build. Ingots yeah. are one of the most important materials for progressing in Power World. This setup will bring you tons of ingots with you barely lifting a finger. So first head to this spot on the map. This is the best place to build the farm okay, and I'll share why in a second. Place down your power box to create a new base. Ensure all of the surrounding ores are within the new base. Now place your storage near your power box in a place that you can reach without moving from your power That's box. That's not possible, this I tried. This is very important. Uh, then it place down work. a furnace, also in reach of the power box. Next, you'll need pal beds and a feed box. Now let's add pals. You'll need a pal with minimum level 2 mining to mine ore. I'm using dig toys. You'll also need a transport pal that can move the ore to the storage. I'm okay. using van worm. Lastly, you'll need a fire type with kindling oh, to smelt the ore the into ingots. Okay. And there you have it. Now you can fast travel to your mining base and collect your ingots. As the storage and furnace yeah. is so close to your pal. That foxy would get depressed real quick because he's the only one who's making ingots. Oh, box, you can fast travel while overweight. Lastly, what about raids? Well, this is why we picked this spot. There's only one way over to these ores and it's via this bridge. True, Chris. Place a foundation and a wall to block the bridge. Place campfires on That's the foundation exactly and it'll Chris set did. fire to any raiders. Glad was patrolling on his beacon when he heard that sound. What's that? Ah, that oh. sound. Shiny. Oh, sh shiny bushy. Wow. That's a max level, level shiny 50. bushy. Chat, a level 50? <sighs> Shiny yeah, the spoilers in Capturing the Capturing this thing was sad. not easy. After chipping it down to low health, he was but faced okay, with I'm a 6% to this capture part rate. To see all of them. 6%. No way he's capturing him. Just catch him. Bushy is not even shooting him. My... Just when he started getting Every worried he was they... going to run out of spheres, this happened. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god, he's so lucky! He got a level 50 bushy! <laughs> Yo! Interested in the stats and the passive rolls? Me too. Let's see. Level 50 shiny bushy, dude. I don't see from his camera. It rolled okay, with lucky. Go. Oh! The, uh, wait, work speed 15% and attack nice. 15 Okay. That's actually perfect. So you can actually stack storage chests using this neat trick. First, build a wooden barrel. No, 50, then place five, a wooden zero. chest on top of the barrel. Why would you do that? Next, enter dismantle mode and destroy the bottom barrel. You'll now be able to place a chest directly underneath the floating chest. Oh! Why don't they have the ability to put the chest over another chest? In every other game you can do that. If you're not catching your pals in style, what are you doing? Oh my god, what is that? No! What the hell? Okay. If you're struggling, She's this is beautiful. an incredibly smart way to kill a momorex. Wait for it to a turn to night and then follow it until it falls asleep. Oh no. And then? Yeah, at least I'm getting like, I'm With learning something. With the now sleeping, you can build a campfire underneath it. Why? Are you gonna kill it like that? Make sure to slide it as far underneath as you possibly can. What is he doing? <laughs> Thank you. 
The Momorest will now set on fire. Like me, the Momorest is obviously oh a heavy sleeper God. and is completely unfazed by the fire. No way! The fire will gradually tick away at its health, all while conveniently keeping you warm. Genius. Now just wait until its health is extremely low before hitting it. Okay, let it 30. Throw a Pokeball. Or just Easy. kill it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ooh, Don't forget so to hit subscribe mean. if you're new. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. These are so easy things to do that I didn't know about. <laughs> At least I learned a thing or two. Uh, there was where people made 20 campfires and then just kite him. <gasps> and then he just walk over all of that and then get, get fire. The thing is that I beat him by myself without using any of those tricks, guys. All you have to do is be riding... Uh, uh, you have to ride uh, an animal that is fast. And you have to keep space away from him. And then just slowly take it easy. Because he's a very slow one. And all his moves are a bit like very slow towards you. Oh, 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 oh,